What is going on my broskies? My name is Totski and I'm back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and in today's video we're going to be going through each of the stages of the brand new Colosseum Rayleigh. Now before we get into each of these specific stages let's discuss this brand new unit that has just arrived on Global. So here we have the fully maxed out Rayleigh, aside from his special, I'm still working on his special level, but you can see here with his max limit break, uh, max level statistics, they're actually quite decent. He gets 2700 HP, uh, he gets 1379 attack and 370 recovery. His captain ability will go ahead and boost free spirit and slash a character's attack by 2.5 times and also boost the chances of landing on a matching orb. So, not a terrible uh, captain ability, but definitely, you know, not that strong. You know, only 2.5 times attack is a little lacking. Uh, but his special ability is quite interesting. It will go ahead and reduce one enemy's HP, only one enemy, by 20%, and he'll also reduce special bind and regular bind duration by three turns, so some pretty solid utility there. And he also will slightly boost the chances of you landing on a Dex, a Psy, or an Int Orb, and also count as beneficial for your Free Spirit characters. So it's a nice balance between some utility and also some orb manipulation. Uh, the fact that he only makes them a higher chance to appear and then makes them count as beneficial is a little weird because it's still not the best because it's not guaranteed to give you matching orbs, but the fact that it's deck sign int is quite nice because uh, in terms of the Luffy Ace meta uh, for, for Free Spirit in particular, these are the type of orbs that they kind of struggle to get or trying to, you know, make these ones count as matching. You have uh, access to characters does like 6 plus Sabo with his limit break. He does make Int Orbs count as beneficial, which is quite a nice touch. However, for Dex and Psy, that is a little bit more difficult for Free Spirit teams in particular. Um, without, obviously, Time Skip Luffy, if you're talking about the new meta, uh, Dex and Psy is quite annoying to get uh, counted as beneficial for the Free Spirit squads. Now, this unit will actually go ahead and max out at 12 turns. However, he does get a limit break that reduces it by 2 turns. So he will go down to a 10 turn cooldown when you have have him limit broken so this kind of special at a 10 turn cooldown is extremely nice because he actually has the crewmate ability that will naturally uh, reduce his own special bind by three turns meaning that if you do get special binded by up to three turns he removes it on, on himself and then you can use his special to unbind all the other characters on your crew as well as getting a couple of other additional effects as well so in terms of that that's quite nice however there are still quite a lot of rare recruit units in the game that do get rid of special bind that are just better than this Rayleigh in my opinion uh, you know you've got access to the decks uh, Valentine Shirahoshi, who is just way better than this Rayleigh for Free Spirit teams, in my personal opinion. So if you have that, that Shirahoshi, then you don't really need this Rayleigh that much, but I'm pretty sure this unit is going to be a trusty character for the upcoming treasure map, so it's nice to have him maxed out for that. In terms of his actual potential abilities, his first one is Slotbind Resistance. He reduces five turns of Slotbind Resistance on himself, and his secondary one is Quick Damage Reduction, reducing damage taken by quick enemies by 5%. So overall, he's an okay unit. Definitely not a unit that you like need to max out. Not like Colosseum Pedro, who was a fantastic, one of the best free-to-play units in the game. This unit is just kind of mediocre. You don't really need to worry about him too much. However, when you do clear it, you do get some very, very nice rewards. So I would try and aim for that as well. But anyways, let's go ahead and actually jump in to each of these stages against Colosseum Rayleigh. So round number one is going to be against Duval. However, on the stage prior to Duval on round one, we have Kami and we have Papagoo. So you have to deal with these two characters first. They don't have that much HP. Papagoo himself does have a really annoying resilience buff. Uh, and however, I actually was thinking that I was able to get him down to one HP, then just use a special to kill him. However, you'll see in this specific instance that he will get around that by rewinding all of your specials. So what I would do is just stall it out when he's at little bit of a higher threshold or to bring someone like poison just bring a poisoner and you'll be able to kill this stage way easier than what I was trying to do here now in terms of the Duval stage Duval has 2.72 million HP and he attacks every two turns for 8600 damage and his preemptive attack will go ahead and paralyze your friend captain for three turns and I believe it's your own captain as well 
for three turns. So utilizing someone like Legend Sanji to dodge it, or Luffy Ace to, do to go ahead and just get rid of it, or to bring someone on your crew that removes at least three turns of paralysis is, is good as well. Now, Duval also has an attack down for Dex and Int characters for four turns, and that is a very significant attack down. So do not bring green or purple characters, or at least bring a four turn attack down remover. He also has a delay protector, and he also has a two hit perfect barrier for the first turn. After 4 turns, he will go ahead and change all of your orbs into negative, and under 50% and under 20% health thresholds, he will call back 5 mob characters. So don't get him below 50%, and do not get him below 20%. Otherwise, you're going to have to deal with more mob characters. But overall, a reasonably simple fight uh, as long as you are bringing a poisoner for the stage prior to and make sure to have an attack down removal or don't bring decks or int characters. And now we're moving on to the second stage, which is going to be against Monkey D. Luffy. However, on stage four, you have to deal with the Boa sisters, including Boa Hancock. Now, she does have a preemptive attack that will go ahead and blind you for six turns. And also, she will bind uh, two units on your crew. I'm not really too sure which unit she actually binds in this instance. But with at least level three bind, you are able to get around that. And also the fact that Sandazonia will go ahead and poison your crew 3,000 damage every single turn with the poison uh, on her first attack. So you want to kill at least Sandazonia on the first turn. But now let's talk about Luffy. So Luffy has 4.1 million HP and he attacks every turn for 5,500 damage. His preemptive attack will go ahead and despair both of your captains for five turns and after the first turn of attacks he will apply an attack up and a defense up buff for the next three turns. Also, when Luffy is finally defeated, he will recover up to 30% of his natural HP and he applies a damage reduction, which is a rainbow shield buff for two turns. So having someone to remove damage reduction, the rainbow shield buff like I do in this specific instance here with the rare recruit Diamante, this enables you to kill Luffy a lot easier on this fight. But now we've gone through the first two rounds, let's go ahead and make our way to round three against Colosseum Rayleigh. So now we've finally made it to the final round against Colosseum Rayleigh. So we are going to be going through each of these stages once again. Now I have two teams to show you in this video. Number one is going to be Kung Fu Luffy, Goat Fu Luffy, man. I actually love using this character. He's extremely, extremely powerful that I found. Like looking at him, I wasn't really that excited for him, but after using him a couple of times, this character is extremely good. Only hitting two perfects and then the rest of your characters get 3.5 times attack. And then if you do hit all perfects, the last character gets four times attack. This guy is extremely powerful as a captain. And also, the amount of HP that you get is quite substantial as well. Now, do keep in mind that uh, also there are some statistical increases here with the Marco character, Luffy, and also Garp on this team do have all statistical increases, which won't make a difference, honestly, when you are playing through this. I really don't think damage is a, is a problem here. Uh, the Luffy stage could be a problem with this particular team. But anyways, let's discuss each of these stages. So we've got Duval here on stage number three of this fight. Duval only has 900,000 HP this time, and he attacks every two turns for 6,300 damage. You do have to keep in mind that he does have the paralysis on your both your captains for three turns as his preemptive attack. And uh, make sure don't get him below 50 or 20% because he will recall back all of those mob characters. And now we're back here at Luffy. So this Luffy on stage 4 has 3.5 million health and he attacks every turn for 5,500 damage. And like the uh, previous version of Luffy, he will go ahead and despair both of your captains for 5 turns once again. And after the first turn of attacks, he will give himself an attack and defense boost for 3 turns. 
Also, when Luffy is KO'd, he will go ahead and revive up to 30% of his natural HP, and he has a perfect hit barrier. You have to hit one or two perfects to break his barrier to then start dealing damage to him. Uh, so that is something you have to keep in mind. Uh, when you do kill him, you do have to go ahead and uh, deal with a perfect barrier, so do keep that in mind. But now let's discuss the main boss being Rayleigh. Colosseum Rayleigh has 6.6 .6 million HP, and he attacks every turn for 8400 damage. Now, Rayleigh has a pretty substantial preemptive attack. He'll go ahead and give you a two-turn attack down, a two-turn chain decrease. He makes your captain's orbs sealed for 10 turns. He will give all of your subs block orbs. He will go ahead and have a full debuff protector, and he will chain any unit on your crew that is a Psy or an Int character for 10 turns. So basically, just do not bring Psy or Int characters. It is extremely bad. You do not want to do that. Now, after the first turn of attacks, he will go ahead and disable all special effects of your captain effect. So he will go ahead and despair you for five turns. And for somewhat reason, if he does survive up until the fourth turn of attacks, he does 18,000 damage to your crew, and special effects will all be disabled on your crew as well. Now, Rayleigh actually has a special interrupt as well. When you activate any sort of HP recovery, he will go ahead and give you a special effect cancellation. He removes all special effects, uh, and I believe he does 80% damage to your team. So you got to be really careful about that. Do not bring a special that heals your crew because he does interrupt to that. And then under about 20%, 25%, uh, it's a little bit unknown at this point. It's about 20 to 25% HP remaining. Rayleigh will deal 18,000 damage to your crew and he puts up a damage limiter for two turns. So essentially, kill him in the first turn and you won't have to deal with any annoying debuffs and don't use a healing special on this Rayleigh character. I loved using Kung Fu Luffy. He was an absolute beast. But now we're going to go into the next team now which is the Luffy Ace team. Now personally for me I didn't actually end up getting the quick rare recruit Garp and although he is a pretty decent unit he's definitely not needed in order to make Luffy Ace an extremely powerful unit. Luffy Ace pretty much carries their own team. They're just such powerful units and uh, with this specific team there wasn't really many troubles at all uh, if at all this team beat it on the first go without really thinking too hard. You just have to make sure that you do swap in the right timings and you guys will see in the clip how the Luffy and Ace, how the swaps work, and where you have to do it in order to make it effective against the boss that you are coming up against. But anyways, that has been the full breakdown of all of the three stages of Colosseum Rayleigh. I really hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and if you guys have enjoyed it, make sure to smack the like button down below, and if you want to stay up to date with all of the content I post on my channel, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. But on that, guys, I'll see you guys within the next video.